Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just gonna play this intro clip quickly. If it ever starts up, that would be fun. Alright, whatever, my computer's bugged. Anyway, uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own packer using JavaScript, right? Um, pretty much to mimic um, that whole Dean Edwards Packer thing. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do a simpler version of this, not as complex. So first of all, I'm just going to create a simple, I'm just going to open up here and create a simple example of something to pack. Alright. I'm just going to pack it and right, it packs it. Well, in this case it does make it a bit bigger. Anyway, I'm just going to paste this up at the top here and show you that how it, uh, or that it actually works. Test. Right. So, pretty much, how does it work? Um, in the Dean Edwards version or whatever, it's a bit more complex than my, this one here. But, um, in this version, all I'm doing is I'm looking for um, words or letters that or um, sequences or whatever that are in a similar order, right? And um, I'm splitting them up by uh, spaces, so I don't use too much uh, CPU usage. So I'm just going to change this to alert here instead of um, running the code, so you guys can see it here, right? So it pretty much just. Um, you know, unpacks when it's running, it just recreates the string or whatever, right? So, I'll, I'm just going to expand this a bit. Um, just so you guys can see what's actually happening. Right, so it's pretty simple, right? And then, um, when you're, um, Right, as you can see, it uh, compresses it to little numbers here in sequences. You can go a bit more advanced and compress these even right. Um, so I'm just going to show you how the packing works. Pretty much, I'm looking for specific characters and adding extra spaces to them to um, to make it pa pack better or compress better. Then it's just looping through them all of the data after it's been split, right over here it gets split by spaces, and it loops through and then it checks if it's inside the array, and if it's not it adds it on, and it gets that index number and adds it to the string which creates this bit here, and then B is just the length of the array here. Right, it's pretty simple, there isn't really much to it. Um, it even works for larger things. Only problem though is that because you're using um, Eval or whatever, um, it has its own little environment so you can't call any of the functions that you define in it. So you have to put it all into one thing and it can't interact with anything else. Of course I'm sure there's probably a way around it but I'm too lazy to figure it out. And um, I believe Dean Edwards Packer also has the same thing because he also uses Eval, I think. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't, you know, I didn't really look into much into his Packer, right? As you can see, his is a lot more complex, um, but the the same pr the basic principle applies. So that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see here, I've, I've actually changed it to use multiple split characters in case the, um, right, the pipe isn't there or whatever. Right, You can make this unicode or whatever. And that's pretty much your basics to compression. This is a simple um, dictionary type compression. Nothing that advanced. Anyway, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog and whatever.